Welcome back, everybody, to the West Coast and our humble little farm that we have going on up here. We have a few chores to do before we... Well, first of all, let's go over here. I want to talk about our little... <laughs> so, there was a lot of really good suggestions for names on this guy. And, <laughs> you know, I gotta say, some of you guys are not very original. We have Ruben the Robot, or Rob the Robot, or Robert the Robot, and... Well, not that I can speak too much because we have Manny the Manito and Landy the Land Rover, but I just thought it was funny. We've got a lot of alliteration going on there, and, you know, there were some more original ones like Stefan or Sweep or Johnny, and I, I, I have to go with Oscar because it kind of looks like a garbage can, and Oscar the Grabs could pop out of there at any time, and so I thank you... To, who was that? Mark DuPont, I believe, that was the first person that suggested Oscar, Oscar the Grouch. And I feel like that is the best combination of creativity and, you know, it, it also feels right. The name's got to feel right. So, you know, even some of those other names I liked, but like, I don't, to me, it just doesn't look like a Johnny, for example. Even though I love the name Johnny, I think Johnny would be great for some of our other tractors. But anyway, yeah, thanks all. I, I did say that I was going to run a vote on that, but when I heard the name Oscar, Oscar the Grouch, that was just way too fitting, and I had to pick Oscar. So I do apologize for kind of lying, but you all had to had your chance to comment and uh, leave names in the desk. And so we'll do a poll for the next big thing, but for that one, I just had to declare Oscar the winner. There just was not any real uh, chance there at not doing Oscar. And so... Our cows do need some help before we go back out planting. They need some silage. They might need a bale or two of grass and maybe a bale of straw. So let's hop in Manny, speak of the devil, and we will get actually how much silage. You know what? Let's hop in Billy here. We might be able to have enough silage here at the beginning. So let's see how much percentage this gives our cows. We might not actually have to go through the whole process of making TMR and instead just Dump them some silage, dump them some hay, and maybe a bale of straw. So let's try this out. We'll turn, and I think backing in will actually be a little bit easier. I did want to apologize. I, I should have started out saying this. I did want to apologize for, you know, by the time you're watching this, it is likely either late Monday or early Tuesday. I'm actually not sure when it'll get uploaded and published by the time that... That's a long process, guys. By the time it takes to encode and then... YouTube has to process it for what seems like hours, and anyway, it, it takes a long time for all that to happen, so I do apologize for getting this out to you late. This is originally Monday's episode, so if you do see it on Tuesday, it's not really a bonus episode. You'll still see Wednesday's episode going up there, so don't worry about that. We gotta make sure we're not... That's the whole purpose of putting the fence there, so I wouldn't back into Oscar the Grouch's little garbage... No. Uh, yeah, Oscar the Grouch... Yeah, I was confusing him with Cookie Monster there for a minute, but Oscar's home. I didn't want to... Let's just take that out, and we will look at some other things here. We have... It is day five, so if you guys remind me, at the end of day six tomorrow, we're going to have to update our spreadsheet again, our little finance spreadsheet. I think that we can leave... Let's see. Are we going to leave... Yeah, let's leave Manny there. We need a bale fork and at least one or two things of hay and then I think we'll be fine from there so let's just go forward a little bit and we're gonna try to oh you know what I hate the stuttering the freezing the frame pausing dropping whatever you call it I hate that it doesn't seem that it has been fixed and I have seen comments that other people are suffering from the same problems since the update happened since that new version was that 1.5 I believe of farming simulator and that is, that's kind of unfortunate. I, I almost suspect, I wonder if it's something with the more realistic mod, even though it works now. I'm not sure if it's an update something with the more realistic mod or not. I don't know. But if you do see the frame pausing, that is the reason why. It is not my computer. It is some combination of a mod that I have going. I'm going to have to spend some time trying to figure that out if it keeps going. But it's kind of disappointing. Anyway, let's go back into Manny here. Anyway, the whole point of doing the... You know, a lot of people have been asking for more farming simulator tutorials for mapping. And I wanted to do that. However, the problem with a tutorial is... 
It not only takes a lot of editing to make a good one, it takes a lot of time because you are basically doing whatever the tutorial is on. And I've already made a whole map that's just about ready for release. I don't want to have to go through and do tutorials just for the purpose of doing a tutorial. It's, it's really not that much fun. So I'm going to be entering the contest. And basically, since I'm entering the contest, I am going to be making a map. And basically, every time that I come across something that I have not talked about in my videos, I'm going to show you how to do that something. And like, for example, the first example in the first video, it's kind of the design process, ideas for creativity, ideas on how to get started making a fictional map. Or if you want to make a realistic map, then that's a whole nother story. I won't be covering that, but there's a lot of excellent tutorials on that. But anyway, I will be, uh, where was I going with that? What was I saying? Uh, tutorials, mapping. Yeah, so basically every time I come across something new, I'm gonna make a tutorial on it. And I do hope that you guys will find that entertaining so like yeah that's what i was saying so the very first episode is going to be on importing exporting and the design process uh, you know so that's just the process i use i'm not a a genius map maker or anything like that but that's just the way i do it and i think that i've gained a lot of knowledge over the years so hopefully that you guys if you've ever thought about even remotely thinking about doing a map i cannot recommend you know, just try your hand at it. It is a lot of fun. It is a very rewarding process. That is a lot of fun to build a map. If you like any type of building game or, you know, something that you get to construct or shape, you know, it is, well, that's basically what building a map is like with a little bit more technical details behind it. But that's what I'm there to walk you through. So don't be scared about that part of it. Let's park right there. Get out with old Billy. Oh, that is... That is uh, ending up in the middle of the wall. And let's back up out of there. And I think that, okay, there we go. Let's pull forward a little bit more. And I'm not sure if we'll, let's see. Will we be able to make it to the field or not today? Let's check. I don't know if we will. I think that maybe instead we should possibly do a short little episode with this one. Oops. Let's do a short little episode here. Yes, we, we still need some more silage. We could use, was it, that's about half, and that's only 11,000. We are great on power food. I think that we just need to make some more silage. So let's, let's I should go back and start scooping some more of that up. How about that? What do you say to that? Let's, you know what, this is bothering me. This little bit right there, I want to scoop that up. So we are going to get back in, we're going to get back in Billy. And we're going to go backwards a little bit and try to, oh goodness, that is just ugly. We're going to, let's see, but this is kind of the backwards. And then I need the bucket. This just, you know, I'm so glad we're not doing silage after this anymore. We are doing bales of silage because, well, we have all that expensive hay equipment. <laughs> And we need, what did I say, about 12,000. Each shovel is, what, 2,400? So that is about 10, no, six shovels worth of silage. Let's drop this off there and head on back. And we'll head forward with Manny now. I think it's a little bit easier if we extend that. It's lower and a little bit more. Okay, we got it. So now that is kind of like really whoops that's like really bothering me up there at the front i don't know why it bothers me so much but i gotta take care of it oh we're already full oh what am i doing <laughs> we are already full let's make sure we back up here a little bit okay we're gonna get controlled here we're gonna find ourselves some control you know what let's let's do an outside view i i think it'll be fun to do a little bit of the outside view here Let's, uh, nope, we gotta go this way. I do a lot of views from inside the cab, but the farm really does look a lot better for everybody if I film from the outside. So let's get that dropped in there. Good old Manny. And we will lower. And now we're gonna get that scoop. We are gonna go forward and get the area that was bothering me. I guess, you know, in some ways I do have OCD and I mean, it's not like true OCD, but it's, it's 
so sometimes I just have to do certain things. Otherwise, it really bothers me. Like, turn off the light switch at the bottom of the stairs and then go upstairs in the dark because that way the light switch is off. And I feel better knowing that five seconds later I don't have to turn off the lights when I get to the top of the stairs. I don't know. Just stupid little stuff like that. Stupid little stuff like cleaning out the silage pit. It's just one of those things, you know? I'm sure everybody has their own little quirks. We will go through there and dump. Maybe raise a little bit. No, 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 no! Oh, I think we got some on the ground. Uh, well, actually, we got most of it inside, so that's not too bad. Let's get out of there and go on the right. I am still... <laughs> In case you guys missed it in the last video, I am still trying to get better at using my side console for the front loader. It allows me to make it look, it's, it's just not so jerky. And the, you know, the camera controls with my mouse tend to do like that a little bit more. But here I get to control the camera with my side console, which is a lot smoother, has a lot more precision. But the problem is I forget I'm not used to operating the telehandler from the side console, but there's only one way to learn. There's only one way to, to get better at it, and that is practice. Let's get up a little bit slower, just a smidgen, and there we go. Oh, did it again. You know, sometimes... All right, how much do we have in there? We have... How many shovels with that? I completely forgot. Let's get back on forward. And actually, should we, let's get out and check how many. I think we can do one. I think we got to do at least one more. Let's do at least one more shovel. And we will. And next episode, while I'm planting, I. You know, some of you guys might know from an episode a few days back where I talk about real life farming, going home, and, you know, farming in real life. I was talking with my cousin who farms organically over about an hour away from our farm in real life in Illinois. And there is, oh my goodness, there, like I'm going to discuss some of the things that you have to do for organic farming. It is unbelievable. I had no idea it was that detailed. It's not just like, oh, well, we just don't have to spray with pesticides and there's mechanical cultivation. There is so much more to organic farming that I didn't even think about so i will talk about organic farming and planting when we are planting in the next episode this episode however i think that we will just stay talking about the farm and the future plans for the farm i still have not forgotten i know i talked about buying a new tractor because fritz kind of outlived his usefulness if anything i would probably sell frederick and upgrade frederick to a bigger tractor and then keep Fritz because it is nice having a kind of a, a junior tractor as we call Fritz. I don't know what else. Junior tractor? No, it's kind of it's kind of almost derogatory. Hey Junior. But I think that having Fritz is really beneficial. A little bit lower of an upkeep cost than the expense of Von Frederick. But it can still do the grass work jobs. And if we get a bigger tractor, I'm not sure what Frederick would do. I think that we'd basically have the same problem with Frederick that we now have with Fritz, where we'll use the bigger tractor for all the field work because it'll go faster and better, but then what are we going to use the smaller tractor for when the bigger tractor can get its job just fine? So I think that we will... Let's see. Let's take a look at... So this will fill up, right? 14,000 and 6,000. That'll fill us up most of the way. And, you know, something else that we could do... I didn't... We could branch out into pigs. We have three steel bins now. So we could feasibly store corn in one bin. We could store grain in the other bin. And then we could store protein in the other bin. And then maybe, you know, store that somewhere else around the farm in a pit. We, you know, obviously, we don't use it. We don't store potatoes or sugar beets in a steel bin. But that could be something fun to expand into as we get a little bit more advanced. But I think instead, no, let's just stick with the plan and advance our dairy herd as much as possible. That is the plan. We have $42,000 and I believe it was Platinum Turbo that suggested, hey, dummy, instead of accruing interest, pay off your loan. Instead of staying at max loan, why? <laughs> Look at this. Uh, where is the interest? Loan interest right there. I could have... That, you know, $250 or however much that adds up to, it, 
It's not that much, but in the, you know, over the course of a year, that all adds up. That might be the difference between, you know, a new engine on a on an upgraded tractor or sticking with an old engine. You never know, but I think that is a huge deal, and it's just good business sense. So let's actually, are we gonna have to back up? I think we're gonna have to back up out of here. That would certainly be the easiest thing. We're gonna also need to clean out manure from the pen because we, well, we need to clean out the manure. I am a kind of afraid to look how much manure we have sitting inside the pen. Let's just kinda, let's see if we can do a speed backup. Well, this tractor isn't very fast. Oh, what happened to the gearbox in this tractor? How did that get turned off? Oh, you know what? I turned off gearbox when I was letting my brother drive to and from the store and I completely forgot about that. So we will turn back on the gearbox when we park this tractor. For those of you who may not have seen us buy this tractor, the MR mod, the newest MR mod for this tractor on the mod hub has a great little gearbox design on there that really makes it feel a lot more realistic. And I absolutely love that, but we will turn it off for there. There we go. We'll get the gearbox back. I can't believe I was driving that without the gearbox. How did I not notice that? It just feels so much real, real with the gearbox. This one, of course, I have the gearbox. Good old Heidi. And let's go back around to... Oh, jumped on the wrong side of the tractor there. Jumped in. Let's go back to... Okay, we will kind of just run this full once, and then we'll just park it there. So we will dump it off there. We'll go backwards and go on over to the manure zone. There we go. You know, it would be nice if we could use those bins a little there for something. I don't know what we could use those for or not. But anyway, that is... Oh, did we give them straw? Yeah, we gave them straw. We gave them straw. We don't need any more straw. You know what? It'd be nice to get rid of that as well. Maybe we could haul that... Maybe one of these days we could haul that out of there and clean up this path back here to the manure pit a little bit. Make it a little bit easier. While we are parked, let's get out and... Open up our pen to the manure. And how much more? Anyone want to wager a guess? I'm guessing 6,000 liters of manure. We have 11,000. Almost, I, I was going to say 14,000, but no, that's liquid. It's 11,000. 11,400 is what we have for the manure. That is a little bit neglected. We should not have let it go this long, but... You know, that's what happens sometimes. Let's get on back over. For the next Let's Play series, I'm not bored with this map yet, but I know that I will have to move on eventually. I don't know if I'll wait for Oxygen and David's newest map, the, what is that, Oakfield Farm, I believe it's called. I might just wait for that one until it releases to do a Let's Play on, but I am thinking that I'll go back to... A really small farm and just doing everything myself. I do absolutely love pretending to run the farm with my brother and using course play, but I don't know. There's just something about running it all by yourself, doing everything yourself. And if I do that, however, I think that I will maybe use, instead of course play, hired help. Like maybe we'll pretend that we have a hired hand on the farm. You know, once we start making more money, oh, let's make sure that it's all going in there. Once we start making more money, we can hire out some of the labor that is a little bit less labor intensive. So for example, if we have a big enough seeder or big enough cultivator, we'll hire out labor. And of course, I always play on hard difficulty, so you, you really have to think about stuff like that, where if you only have a three meter width planter or tractor, implement tool whatever you have if, if it's three meters and you're going really slow because it's an underpowered tractor that's going to be a really high labor cost but if it's six meters and it's a powerful tractor well then they're not going to waste so much time spending their tires in the dirt so that is something that we will look at doing and let's get on back here dump this manure in the wagon and actually, you know what? I think, should we dump this in the pit? I don't know how much we should put in the pit. Is it good to, I mean, those of you that have a manure spreader, do you, do you dump it and just leave the manure sit in the manure spreader? I don't know. It seems like there might be something bad going on with that. But 
Anyway, let's back up. And wrong way. Lower a little bit. There we go. Get going straight again. This Manny is so awesome. Let's get... Uh, you know, I tried to say that we're going to do a little bit more on the outside. Because it is prettier. This one we don't have to have out quite so far. Especially if we're just going in the manure pit. We will lower. Let's fix our view a little bit. And, well, you know what? Here, we need to go back inside. Because it is just way too hard to see. Let's try to not spear a cow. So, how many is this going to be now? Is this going to be... Uh, I think maybe one more trip of manure. And... I think, yeah, I think one more trip... Oh, wow. We still have quite a bit of manure left. Oh, yeah, that's right. It doesn't update all the way. It does not update instantly. So, let's miss the cow there. Or at least our best attempt. And here we go. So, yeah, I... I was talking about the expansion plans. I think we're definitely going to expand with cows more. That, that was the original plan. We'll stick with it. Maybe on the next map we'll do some pigs or something like that. And sheep. Maybe we'll do sheep instead. If it is a realistic map, I don't know what other guys do for pigs in the UK. But I know they don't typically grow corn for the grain. Well, they don't at least grow corn to sell. They might grow corn if they have pigs as a grain. But, let's, uh, I guess we can just leave it at this height and dump it on in. There we go. Oh, come on, Manny. What are you stuck on? Manny? Oh, no. Manny, what, what happened? Okay, we decided to push ourselves off there a little bit. Okay, one more pickup, I think, with Manny will do it. And then, let's see, how are we doing on time? Is that going to be... You know what? I think that might be a quick episode. You know what? But <laughs> by the time I finish saying goodbye... I mean, my goodbyes are almost as long as an episode anyway. So by the time I finish saying a goodbye, that will basically be an episode's worth of time. If not a short episode, but... I think that in the effort to try to get this out somehow on Monday... Nah, there's no way this will be published Monday night. It'll probably be sometime in the AM this will get published. So, I am sorry about that. But it will be Tuesday's episode... No, Monday's episode on Tuesday. Hopefully that helps bring some joy to people who maybe thought there wasn't going to be an episode. Because when I did the tutorial video, I actually said that there wasn't going to be a Monday episode. But I had a change of heart. I like playing this game. So, let's get this on in the the pig not the pig pen I, why was i thinking pig pen let's get this on in the you know what let's try to grab actually a little bit of that and try to spread some of it out if we can there we go now let's go a little bit deeper and dump it on in from the back there there we go maybe a little bit deeper oh there we go we can <laughs> <laughs> Look, we don't even have to raise it anymore. We can just go forward and back. Okay, so let's go that way and that way. And we'll go back just a little bit. Don't want to pick up any manure on the way back. And drop it off. And I think we can turn off Manny from there. Let's just double check, make sure we are all ready to go tomorrow. Which will be the last day of spring. And we got to have all of our crops planted by that day because that will be the final growth stage. Or the final day before the growth stage. And we want all of our crops on the on the day. So I think let's double check the cows. The cows are all good. We do have some liquid manure left, but that doesn't matter. That'll have to wait till next season. And let's go look at the fields again. I think that right now we have... That's right. We started on this field. And we're getting ready to plant this one. We got Landy down there still, so that's unfortunate. And we have all of those left to plant. So we actually, but you know what? Those are smaller, so it's, uh, we're probably not half done with the planting, but it's, we're probably pretty close. And if we need to, we can plant during night. I think we'll be able to finish all of that planting tomorrow. No need to worry there. We'll probably start out the next episode with a cinematic and we'll go from there. So for right now, though, I think. That is an episode. I think I covered everything that we needed to cover. And yeah, here is our equipment waiting to be used. We have a couple nice bale trailers for the bale harvest and our beautiful Martian trailers for grain, hull and grain. And let's see. 
I think that should just about do it for today's episode. Thanks again for watching, guys. And I think, for one, this will be a quick goodbye. Oh, that is... Okay, so here we go. That is something I wanted to look at. We have... I wanted to recap this because we are growing. No, that's not what I want to look at. I want to look at fertilize because we have one layer of fertilizer there. And wait, is that three? Is that third layer of fertilizer? Oh, we can fertilize our grass fields. I forgot all about that. So we got to fertilize our grass fields. Why do those have? That's two, right? There's no way that's three layers. That's that's two. I, I, it's so hard to tell the difference in color. I wish that they would just, I don't know, make them a different color or I don't know. I don't know how you could make that better, but it's so hard to tell whether or not, I mean, if I had three levels, no, that's have to be second layer. I mean, if you have three layers across the map, then obviously it's easy to tell the difference between the three different colors over there, but I don't, that's gotta be one. That's one. And so then that means that's gotta be two. How did that get two layers though? Cause I had manure and then I cultivated it in. But I did also have residue on there from... So maybe was there... Is that like a... Uh, what's it called? The chop straw? So you, you, you cultivate in the organic residue? Maybe that's what happened there. I forget. I don't remember. But anyway, I think that we are almost done down here. Yeah, so... With the weeder, this will get three layers of fertilization then, and then this will get two. That's not bad. That's not a bad rotation for fertilization. When you're doing organic, you can't expect the same yields anyway, so that's not a bad deal. Anyway, let's close this gate. No, let's leave it open because... No, no open. Stay open. Stay... There we go. Okay, let's finish up this episode. I think that we are all done. Whoa, how did that... Did that roll? Oh, that must have rolled downhill. That, I did not leave it parked like that. That, oh man. If that was outside the, you know, that probably got some snow on it over the winter. How did that happen? It must have it had to have rolled downhill. But no, it's got wheel chocks. It shouldn't roll. That's the whole point of wheel. Urgh. Okay, well, whatever. We are getting ready to finish planting. Well, we're getting ready to end this episode. We will be planting next episode. I will see you guys. Oh, that's right. We got to find a new view. Well, I guess we'll just stay here. Instead of our soapbox up there on the farm, this is a good view. We've only used this view once or twice. So let's just hop up here and sign off and say goodbye. Watching the beautiful sunset about to happen. So anyway, I thank you all for watching this episode of the West Coast and my little story. Be sure to give me a thumb and leave comments below. And thanks again. I hope you guys all, I hope you can't talk. I hope you guys and girls all have a great day, wonderful day. And thanks again for your patience in this late Monday episode or well, late Tuesday episode. Late Tuesday episode on Monday episode on Tuesday. That is what I am trying to spit out. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.